change that misconception. If yeah. they're not doing it consciously, I'm seeing it. Yeah, no, and I will say, really, really in the circumstance I was talking about, it wasn't excessive the way it usually is. It was tasteful like a last burst of adrenaline, give it everything you got to try to take this match back, because his brother was out at that point. Right, and without the storytelling, actually, these four performers probably wouldn't have been able to turn it around. Uh, the quality would have dipped. There was no, I mean, there's no story going into this. Obviously this is LAX's first match. So whatever, the only well, real the negative I have on this. They beat up uh, the, the rock and roll express and the young. Well, just about it. Yeah, but that's, that was between LAX and the rock and roll express. But yeah, yeah. I mean, so I did, that was the reason for the match, but that wasn't like a year long arc, right? Yeah. That happened one episode and then they had the match, which is cool. I dig it. The only negative I have is about, <laughs> sorry, pasty the rock and roll express. Oh, you didn't love that. Well, no, the, the fact is that this really dangerous inner circle got beat the shit down <laughs> by these old ass rock and roll express guys. Pretty much. But they're legends. Any of the heat that they built by what the is, win. What does the Undertaker do anytime he goes into the ring? You know what I'm saying? It, it was fun. <laughs> it was super fun, and I enjoyed it because I'm obviously a huge like fan of the them. <laughs> uh, but when I look at the Undertaker, if he beats anybody like that, I think it's stupid. No, like it was anybody goofy. who's young and upcoming. It was goofy, but I could rationalize it just on the fact that it was a numbers game for a minute. Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, okay. I, I loved it as a as a mark. I yeah. loved it. But that Canadian destroyer. Building them, that Canadian yeah, destroyer. <laughs> that, extre- that extremely, um, uh, extremely, um, uh, what's, what's the word? Not um, assisted Canadian yes. destroyer. Yes. Thank you. They that operated the ropes assisted. to launch him over. But that's not, that's again, that's not bad. No. What, what I do have to say is when you got a badass team like LAX come in and then <laughs> yeah. you have two old guys pulling them, it does, hurt. I, I think it hurts them a little bit. I think it does. Yeah. I would have rather seen them demolish the Rock and Roll Express and then at some point later when the Young Bucks had LAX like completely down or even maybe tied up or something, have the Rock and Roll Express come in and seek their revenge but that's the only negative i have i thought it was awesome yeah no it was it was a lot of fun and yeah it was it was out there but i thought the rock and roll express was a good addition i get what you're saying about lax kind of looking softened by it but i can't call him lax anymore pnp pnp yes yep i love him yes it's so hard not to call him lax though then we had um, Adam Page defeating the bastard Pac Pasty. Yes. This match was a what long are, time coming. What are your feelings about this match? It was the second match on the card, and I feel like it deserved that spot. It was solid. They, they both worked well. I don't think it was as good as it could be, but once again, this is the first time. And this is the first time, I don't know, it should have probably blown off a little bit better, and Pac should have won it. But uh, I like this match. I don't have complaints about it. No, I thought it built really really well. I the thought throwing that, uh... Pac into the fucking uh, outside rail over and over again, and throwing him hard, like... I don't know. Every time I watch AEW, I'm like, I just feel bad for those people's knees. <laughs> right? Oh, fuck. Do they warn you, like, two minutes ahead of time? Like, watch your shit. This belt built well. It ended very well, I thought, with a with a comeback by Paige. Uh, I thought Paige should have went to, won it. Excuse me. I felt... Page really, he emoted like a stage actor. I really felt the frustration in that last big ass lariat he did, and and he got yeah. the dead eye, and and he got a victory he needed. I mean, both of these guys need to be protected, but if Page is getting built up and and he actually went for the title, he can't be some slouch. You know what I mean? That loses in an average regular match, and that's what this is. Yeah. 
And this win may actually be the start of a road for redemption that hopefully sees Adam Page challenge Jericho again for the title that he, he possibly could win. This also gives uh, Adam Page credit because he beat Pac, who has built up so much credibility since he's been here. Obviously, we know that's been from a lot of uh, political pull backstage. Mm. But nonetheless, that's a different story. If we're just looking at, it, looking at it on screen, Pac is undefeated. Adam Page beat him. Yep. And both these men looked awesome in this match. Uh, I don't oh, think Pac yeah. lost anything by losing. You know, he's he's the bastard. He needs to be pissed off, which means he needs to lose some matches, right? Yeah, he lost very little. I, yeah. I'd say he lost, but lost very little. I mean, yeah. I, somebody has to lose. Either one of them was going to lose something. I think Adam Page needed this win more than Pac, mm -hmm. for sure. Oh, I, I would have money on the fact Pac peels the, the championship off of Page at some point. And Page doesn't even have a championship. They got that perfect, it's a perfect cow cowboy and bandit, like, pairing. What the fuck's a bandit? Like a bandit, like a rapscallion. Okay, well, what's, <laughs> I mean, like, in the AEW, what's like a, a bandit? I don't know, what's a cowboy? I just where, mean... Where, the f where are you just making up fucking nicknames <laughs> for people? It Adam doesn't Page's, make sense to me. His new shirt is cowboy shit. His gimmick is cowboy, even though it's he's not. hangman Adam Page is his gimmick. Okay, but okay, he, he's still pushing the cowboy. He came down to the fucking ring on a horse at one of the pay per views. But I'm just oh, saying. Oh, don't like, get me started on Hunter Horse Helmsley, <laughs> please. Don't I'm get just me saying, on if Adam Page is the sheriff of an old west town, now you're talking about sheriffs. You're adding shit that doesn't exist. <laughs> no, cause sheriffs are cowboys. How can a sheriff be a cowboy? That doesn't even make sense. He rides a horse and he wrangles cattle. Okay, just how to be are bad horses dudes. cows? <laughs> what was even the original argument? I don't even know what's going on. Uh, so thanks. Adam Page is a sheriff and Pac is Deadwood the, on yeah, HBO. Basically. Watch it streaming. I haven't watched it ever. I don't. Then we had uh, Sean Spears. What is, is Deadwood? <laughs> defeating Joey Janela, pasty. Yeah. Um. Could have threw this on the buy in. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, it was. Joey Janela had it a, happened. Honestly, uh, the gimmick, <laughs> the gimmick of Sean Spears with the no more garbage wrestling, his shirt. Says no more garbage wrestling. Yep, 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 Joey yep. Janela came in and wrestled a clean match, cleaner than Sean Spears played the match. And I think that makes a point. That that's, oh, for sure. That's I think something that I can point. give this match. Uh, <laughs> also, all the scratches. Joey Janela is really good at scratching people. Sean Spears had a whole lot of like ble little bleedy scratches on his back. Yeah, we don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. I guess. Yeah. Um, it, it was a match. To me, my notes here, neither man was able to build any real momentum. And the finish was all Tully, too, wasn't um, it? Yeah. This yeah. this did nothing for Joey Janela, <laughs> but it did give Spears a big pay-per-view win, so I'll give him that. It helps develop him into one of the higher-profile upper mid-card heels. So I, I, I dig that. We need that. He's mm -hmm. never going to be a main event guy. I think obviously we had I had hopes for him, but after seeing WWE and now seeing AEW, it's like okay, yeah, he's a mid card guy. That's that's and that's not a bad thing. We no. need mid card guys. Exactly, exactly. Um, uh, no, and if this thing if this thing doesn't just blow off here and it continues, I anticipate the next match being a hardcore match in Janela's favor. Right, and, and obviously Joey Janela, he's super fucking over. So wins and losses, at least right now at the very beginning of this, um, no. even though they say wins and losses matter, yeah. he's doing okay. Well, Although I would say I heard this week that they were talking about, or uh, Tony Khan had talked that about that they reset. It, yeah, annually. Yeah, um, it wasn't Tony Khan. It was uh, was it Jericho? 
It wasn't Tony Khan. It was, it was either Jericho. Oh, no, it was Cody. Cody said that. Cody said that they will reset. Okay. I don't think they gave a time frame of when they reset, but I no. assumed it would be annually. And I yeah. like that. I think you no, need it's to cool. do that. I think it's that's cool super great. Then people can't get stuck in a rut. Exactly. I mean, they can, but they probably won't. And you um, can keep shit fresh. But yeah, I, I think like that... It's like a WWE um, draft when you only have one show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think that... Yeah, I don't think this hurts. Actually, I I almost think this hurts Sean Spears more than Joey Janela. If Tully wouldn't have had to interfere, I mean, it was good heel work by Sean Spears to have to do some shady shit. And the shady right. shit was pretty good shady shit, like taking off the turnbuckle just to distract the ref. Yeah. That's that's some stuff. Like, I had expected him to actually use it. But, um, yeah, no, it was a, it's the, the most passable match on the card. Yeah, I think I think it was easily the the worst match on the card. I'll say that. Yeah, I could say that I could go without ever watching I'm, it. I'm not gonna say it's a bad match, but I'll yeah, say it. I'll say it for you. Card. It's a bad. It's a bad match. <laughs> as far as pay per views go, it's a bad match. Yeah, it is. I just I still like both of these guys. I no, I I like them both. I think they're great. Joey Janela. I'm hoping that his uh, spring break special becomes an AEW pay per view. That'd be cool. I mean, he's awesome, but this was a bad match. I'm gonna say it. I just call. I I'm gonna be honest. I ain't gonna suck any dicks here. <laughs> All right. Uh, next match was a three way tag team championship match. Seeing SoCal Uncensored, represented by Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Sky, defending and retaining their championships against the Lucha Brothers and Private Party. And this was uh this was a fun match. Pacey, I have very little, if anything, negative to say about SCU. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, um, this wasn't. I, I think this would have been better as just a one on one between yeah. either of them. Obviously, mm-hmm. Lucha Bros, of course. Yeah, Lucha Bros in either party after that. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. There's there's plenty of tag team on this card, and this probably wasn't the best tag team match. And then I do got to give a frowny face to the whole coming in as Pentagon Jr. post-match, because didn't Jericho just do that shit? Okay, so... I'm going to have to call you out on this one, Pasty. Okay. I'm just going to have to call you out on this one. Okay. Before Jericho, before Pentagon Jr., there was the fallen angel Christopher Daniels, and he returned to his old moniker and his old character. Yes. So I super marked out for this because that is the Christopher Daniels I fell in love with back in like 0203. Yeah. Before Jericho did any of that, and before Pentagon, I think was wrestling. I'm not. So, I'm not shitting uh, on it. I, I liked him coming out and doing it, but I just think Jericho just wore the Pentagon outfit. But it's not a Pentagon outfit. That's his fallen angel outfit. And first yeah. of all, Jericho's no Christopher Daniels. <laughs> no, no, he's not. He's not ever gonna be. I want to see that Jericho match, though. Is a goat. Don't you want to see that match? Oh, I'd love to see that match. Jericho's a GOAT, and he is a WWE, AEW, WCW, a major company. He's a big front man. Yeah. A company who... But he's not the wrestler value... that Christopher Daniels is. Yeah, the, the, a company that values pro wrestling and, and um, mm-hmm. psychology and everything, such as a Ring of Honor, a TNA, and an AEW. Again, right. it, it's a cross there. Chris Dude, Jericho's a rock star playing a wrestler, and Christopher Daniels is a wrestler playing a rock star. Oh, that's – I've never <laughs> thought of that, but that's one of the most beautiful ways to describe those two. Oh, I love it. So, no, I, I – I, yeah, that's awesome. I have no problem with Christopher Daniels doing that, and I thought if he's going to return, the fact yeah. that he came back as the fallen angel, I loved uh, that. It was cool to see him, Sarah Romero, and, and – uh, Yeah. Yeah, in Penta's face. Sorry. Uh, no, this was a, it was a fun match. Um, I was immediately let down by the fact that it's two men in the ring and one team has to stand outside. 
Yeah, I, I don't like that either. I agree. I just want... Do they do...